project is uh, basically taking uh, used water that this treatment plant filters um, and discharges into the environment, and we're treating it again to a higher standard of quality so that it's uh, like drinking water. The purpose of the project is to highlight that all water on Earth is recycled. One of our uh, brochures says, we're all drinking dinosaur pee. You know, it's true, <laughs> it's all recycled. We're taking water that would normally be going to the river and we're directing it into our treatment unit to further treat it. Typically, used water is treated and then discharged into the environment where it gets blended with rainwater and other water before it's reused downstream. We're just doing that on a faster time scale here by taking it directly from the treatment plant, uh, filtering it through this equipment, and uh, creating drinking water immediately. It's a cool way to show what we can do with water. You know, we can take it from a state that's it's wastewater, it's everything you can imagine in it, to a point that is clean, it can go out into the river, or we can actually make something that you consume out of it. In this case, it's beer. And so the beer is kind of a gimmicky thing, but it's really indicative of what, what we can do uh, when we really set our minds to it, to clean up the product. This started two years ago in Louisville. They built us this awesome treatment unit, and uh, we had it moved down here with these different totes. Uh, what we're trying to show is that we can utilize any of their water and economically turn it into a product that can be safely used for, in this case, brewing beer. This drinking water is going to be given to two local breweries where they're going to make a special reuse beer for us. Uh, they both uh, excited about the project because they're excited about water conservation and recycling of everything. What we're going to do with this is we're going to take this next round brewing water that's been repurposed from the water plant here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're going to brew with that tomorrow morning. I'm going to do an extra pale ale with it. So it's going to be nice and crispy, really clean, kind of focusing on that water treatment facility and how we can reuse that in the beer itself so that we're creating a, almost a new product out of something that's already been reused or repurposed. And what we're trying to do is use that across the board. We've got a Tennessee grown Pilsner malt that we're going to use. It was uh, kilned and malted in Asheville, North Carolina, and then local water straight out of Chattanooga. So we've got a lot of local aspects going into this beer, but without good water, there is no good beer. So that's the first ingredient for us, is kind of building up this water profile to be able to create this beer. As people enjoy this beer, we want them to realize how good this product can be, how, how we can really serve the community in a great way to reuse a resource we have that, that enables us to support the community as a whole and also support the environment in a way that uh, is very productive for the community. It's not just a beer, like there's, there's craft, there's passion, there's people behind this beer that made it happen, you know. So the ultimate goal is to just raise awareness uh, so that everybody tries to keep our water systems clean and that they understand that it's a finite resource that may not be here forever but that we have the technology to do something about it. We can conserve, we can reuse, it's safe, it's effective, and just to highlight the importance of water in all of our lives. Mm -hmm.